Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More. I am standing outside my bad foundation house flip. So we're doing another update on this house as the foundation gets repaired, even though you can't see a whole lot going on. Um, there is a lot happening inside the house we will show you. So of course, check out InvestorMore.com for much more information on flipping, rentals, being an agent, wholesaler, all of that good stuff. We've got hundreds of articles up there, on there. Um, I said up there because I was getting ahead of myself and wanted to show you we are actually on a hill, and this is important. Um, I promise, I'll show you why when we go inside. But we are basically on the top of a hill right here. Maybe it's a little higher up there. But we're not in a valley, not in a low spot, not in a flat spot. We are on top of a hill, so remember that. But um, <laughs> we'll show you this house here. Uh, we bought it from a wholesaler for 230000 I knew it needed foundation work when I bought it, but I was not sure how much work it would need. And so after... A lot of work getting some bids and engineers to look at the property. Uh, we finally got a bid to fix it, which was like $120,000, I think. Um, and we've got that work started. But we're thinking it's probably worth, you know, a $450,000 or so once it's all done. But we'll have carrying costs, other repair costs too. But the big issue with this house, and it's hard to see in here, but as I'm walking this direction, you can feel the slant in the flo flo floor and it literally drops eight inches from one side of the house to the other. So down here we have the exciting work and the exciting stairs too, which if you stand on the left side, you can see that they're not really attached to anything. So, but um, they have dug up all of the slab and they're installing piers into the bedrock. So this was quite the job. Had to tear out all the concrete. As you can see, um, some of the sheetrock was torn out. Had to do a lot of work here to get all this prepared. And the big problem is this soil is very wet, very, um, not chaotic, but active, very active, moving around, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And that's why it destroyed the foundation. And it is not an optical illusion that this wall is coming in, if you can see it there. Um, the bottom of this wall is probably eight inches to the left of the top of the wall. So here, you can see all the piers that they are drilling straight down. And then they will attach, um, I think, a sister wall is how they're doing it. I'm not even sure. I didn't really understand their bid, but um, those are all being drilled. You can see here the wonderful cracks in the foundation there, but they're guaranteeing all their work. You can see they're in the process of doing them right now. And once those are all in, uh, we'll have a French drain installed, um, other work done, new slab poured, and we should be good to go forever. So the reason, the main reason behind why this foundation is doing this, which is, you know, you don't want to spend all this money fixing it just to have it happen again, is water. So you can see this ground is very damp. Groundwater is right there. And that is why I said it's important to understand that we're on a hill because, you know, logically you would not think that being on a hill you would have groundwater nine feet below the surface, but you do, and that happens. So there it is. So the French drain should, look at all that water, take care of all the water, get rid of it, stabilize the soil, we'll have the piers drilled into bedrock so the house should never move again, it should be in good shape. Then we can sell it with a good conscience knowing that um, you know the new buyers are not gonna have issues not going to have any problems moving forward. So, um, you know, if they had built these right to start with, this probably would not have happened if they had put in French drains. I mean, obviously they should have known where the water table was if they did their engineering right, but they did not. And so we have this issue to deal with. This used to be, <coughs> excuse me, the bathroom. So it's no longer the bathroom. <laughs> so that's the house. Uh, we'll have more updates as it moves along, as we go, and then, oh, 
yep, the dark room with more holes and issues. But um, one concern too, we'll just see how it goes, is they have to level the house, right? You can't leave it eight inches on level. So hopefully when they jack it up, get everything level, it does not cause too much damage upstairs with sheetrock, flooring, things breaking, because that could happen as well. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the updates. Keep the comments coming. Love it when you guys like our videos. New subscribers, welcome to the crazy real estate stuff we're doing. And uh, we'll have many more videos and much more uh, updates on this house too coming up in the future. We'll be back soon and thanks for watching.